Good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? Good. All right, so we are all kids and kids at heart, and so uh, this morning I want us to use our imaginations a little bit, okay? So I want you guys to imagine that this isn't just a, a, a bottle of cologne, not perfume. This is mine. So bottle of cologne. This is actually a, a canister or a jar that um, has my tears in it. Now, that's weird, huh? That'd be a little weird. So I want you guys to think about, there's a poem in, uh, the, in, in Psalms that David talks about that he asked God to put his tears in a bottle. Now, let's think about that for a second. What does that mean? Why would you want, why would you want God to have your tears in a bottle? What do you guys think? Something fun to look at? No, no. But when, when we cry, uh, at the moment when we cry, I mean, people know that you're crying, right? I don't know. Do you guys ever cry? Yeah? We, well, I'll be honest. We've all cried before. So we've had the little cry or the, the deep wailing cry. And so, but maybe after 10, 15 minutes... What does it look like? Does it look like you guys cried? No? So when, when we ask God to put it in a bottle, we're asking God to remember our tears. So to remember us when we're sick or hurting. So I want you guys to raise your hand. Have you guys ever cried when you hurt your leg or something when you fell? Has anybody done that? Yes. You haven't fell yet? No? Okay. Well, it'll happen one of these days. All right. So... Raise your hand if you've ever cried when somebody has said something mean about you. Yes? Or hurt your feelings. Yeah? Okay, raise your hand if you've ever felt something or heard something that made you cry. This, yeah? Maybe a Disney movie. i got to raise my hand up for there. <laughs> I'm a sucker for those. So, yes, crying. Have you guys ever cried when you saw somebody else crying? Yes? Yeah? I have too. Yes. And not only I have, but um, we serve a risen Savior that has not only uh, dwelt among us, that's not only done the things that you have done, but he had also cried. Now, I got a Bible verse for you guys to remember, and I'm pretty sure you guys can figure this out right now. So can you repeat after me? It's a really long one, okay? All right, it's from John. So it says, Jesus wept. Jesus wept. Can you remember that? Yeah, that's a really easy one. It's two words, but it is so amazing when you think about that Jesus wept. So when, when you weep, is that something like, hmm? So weep is like, all out cry, like somebody stole your tablet crying. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Terrible, right? If you've, you've cried. Jesus wept, and he wept over his friend Lazarus, who passed away. So he was mourning over somebody that had gotten really sick and died. And we know that God, is, or Jesus is God, fully human and fully God. We know that he was around during creation. He formed it. He was his voice is the one that made everything and that same God had the same amount of compassion for for a friend that passed away and so he cried now I think that's such an amazing thing that we have a risen savior that that knows those things but he's also he's risen risen above those things literally that he has not only um, conquered all of the sins that's happened in the world, but he has conquered death, the result of the sin. And so that he, and what he's done for the world, that he even did for his friend, he rose him from the dead. So that there's no more tears, but there's going to be joy and, and singing and dancing. So like what we've been doing at church. So I want you guys to think when you see your mom or your dad's perfume or cologne, you see these little glass jars, just remember that God cares about your tears so much that he has it in a bottle. Um, it may not look like this, but he knows and he, he keeps record of when you guys are hurting because he, he has done those tears the same 
and he's going to wipe away our tears one day. And what a glorious day that's going to be. I know this is long. I'm sorry. All right, let's go to God and pray and help us to remember that he will wipe away our tears. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for, for storing the tears that we cry here on earth, the, the result of our own fall, um, the, the result of sin in this world. Um, we thank you, Lord, that you have brought your son Jesus to not only be the perfect example, not only to be that sacrificial lamb, but that he is, he is our, our king, our high priest, our advocate, that um, he is not just a king that uh, looks down on his people, but he, he went all the way down as being born in a manger, um, born to a teenage a uh, teenage woman that uh, not in high esteem, Lord, not, not a priest, not a prophetess, Lord, but it was something of low standing. And then elevated himself to a point that he, um, he is our advocate. He is, he is seated at your right hand, but he has went through all those emotions, Lord. Um, I thank you that uh, you have given us your son, that, you, that he, is, he is our, um, our savior and our friend, and I pray that you help us to be more and more like him as we go through these days where there is, there is tears, there is sadness, but that we remember that there will be one day where there will be no tears and that there will be singing and dancing forever and ever. And we look forward to that day. And we pray this in our, our Lord and Savior's name. And all God's kids say, Amen. Ooh.